In the beginning, the Word already was. The Word was in God's presence. And what God was, the Word was. He was with God at the beginning, and through Him all things came to be. Without Him no created thing came into being. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never mastered it. There appeared a man named John. He was sent from God, and came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might become believers. He was not himself the light. He came to bear witness to the light. The true light, which gives light to everyone, was even then coming into the world. He was in the world, but the world, though it owed its being to him, did not recognize him. He came to his own, and his own people would not accept him. But to all who did accept him, to those who put their trust in him, he gave the right to become children of God, born not of human stock, by will of flesh, but of God. So the Word became flesh. He made his home among us, and we saw his glory, such glory as befits the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. The Word, the expression, the reality of God, not an idea, not a notion, not an impression, but the Word, the presence, the essence of God. There from the start, even before creation itself. The Word, the Logos, the mind and reason and action of God, through whom everything came to be, with God not separate, but with God, in essence, God, eternal, personal, divine, God, speaking to us, bringing light, life, light and life. into the darkness, into all that was dull and drab, came the light, shining, sparkling, glittering, bringing colour into a colourless universe, painting the world. speaking through women and men, prophets, priests, ordinary people over the centuries, and John the Baptist, the end of a long line of witnesses and people of faith, John, testifying to the true light. Some said no, some said yes, some said 
It's not for me. I don't want to know. I'm not interested. Some said, Tell me more. I want to know. I am interested. Those who believed in him, those who trusted in him, those who accepted him, they knew, they recognized who they were who they had always been, who they truly are, God's children, loved, loved, loved. The Word of God, biding its time, waiting patiently for the right moment, the Kairos moment, that Emmanuel moment, when time stood still and the word became flesh, moving in among us, full of grace, love, glory, splendor, truth, the Word, God, love itself.